This video is to review the laws of exponents that you have learned in a previous course. So rule number one, multiplying. If I have the same base but I have different exponents, I can add my exponents. So x to the a times x to the b is going to equal x to the a plus b. We keep the base and we add the exponents. Think about it for a second. If I had x squared times x to the fourth, this really means x times x and x to the fourth means x times x times x times x. So I have a total of six x's. So if I use my rule, I would have had x to the two plus four, which gives me x to the six. So whenever you have the same base and you're multiplying, you can add your exponents. So we'll take a look at the first example together. Example one, a squared b, times 2ab cubed. Now, a few things to remember. If there's no exponent, there's an imaginary 1, and there's an imaginary 1 as a coefficient. So I'm going to multiply my coefficients. 1 times 2 gives me 2, and you work with each variable separately. So I have a, and I have 2 plus 1, which is going to give me a to the third. And then I have b to the first times b to the third, which is going to give me b to the fourth. So our final answer should be 2a cubed b to the fourth. You try 2 and 3 on your own. Our next rule is for dividing. If I have the same base with different exponents, I can subtract. So this is going to be equal to x to the a minus b. Once again, think about this. If I had x to the fifth divided by x squared, this is really x times x times x times x times x, because I have it five times, and then in the bottom, x squared is x times x. So I can cancel here, here, here with here. I have three remaining, so I get x to the third. If I applied that rule that I just told you, 5 minus 2 gives me 3. So let's take a look at example 1. Remember, we work with each variable separately. So I have a to the fifth b squared divided by a squared b. And remember, there's an imaginary 1 with that b in the denominator because there's no exponent. So 5 minus 2 gives me a cubed, and then 2 minus 1 gives me b. So my final answer is a cubed b. You try 5 and 6 on your own. Our last rule is raising a power to a power. So x to the a all raised to the b. So when this happens, you're going to keep the base, and then you multiply your exponents. So think about this. If I had x squared to the third power, this really means I have x squared times x squared times x squared. And using our rule from above, now that I'm multiplying, I can add all my exponents. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 again gives me x to the sixth. And if I use my rule that I just told you about, this is the same thing as x to the 2 times 3, which gives me x to the sixth. Let's take a look at example 7. 2ab squared all to the fourth power. Now, we are multiplying with our exponents if we're talking about variables, but for numbers or coefficients, we're still raising it to the power. So 2 to the fourth power is going to give us 16. If you need to use your calculator, that's fine. Remember, there's an imaginary 1 with this a. So a to the first to the fourth is 1 times 4, which gives me a to the fourth. And then b to the second to the fourth power is 2 times 4, which gives me b to the eighth. So your answer should be 16, a to the fourth, b to the eighth. You try eight and nine on your own, and then there are some mixed practice as well.